Number 5. Wormwood, Road of the Dead. Wormwood is a cool, quirky, yet scary movie out of Australia that begins with a tension building story focused on a guy who's been deeply disturbed by his first encounter with the zombie virus. He was out hunting in the woods with his brothers, and as soon as they all got there, they felt like something was off. We went bush. There was a strange feeling in the air. Dead silent. Later that night, as they're sitting around the campfire, they see shooting stars, and that feeling intensifies. The next day, he wakes up to one brother dead and the other a zombie. And this is only the start of a movie which explores what people will do to survive in a weird, quirky, yet realistic way. Think Shaun of the Dead, but done in a serious manner. Number four, Dark Skies. Dark Skies is all about building tension and atmosphere. It sets its moments of calm versus its moments of fear and juxtaposition in order to accentuate the fear that you feel. This movie is brought to you by the same producer who brought you Paranormal Activity and Insidious. So think that style of movie, but with aliens. So if you find the idea of an alien hovering over your bed in the middle of the night as you're waking up much more terrifying than a ghost, then this movie is for you. Number three, Pontypool. Pontypool follows a rebellious late night DJ. He's stuck as the DJ of a small town in the middle of nowhere in the dead of winter. Things really start kicking off whenever their weatherman calls in to report a horde of people massing near a doctor's office. People have just died, Graham. I, I don't know what the hell has just happened. Well, we're, uh, we're going to have to see if we can... Uh, Graham? Ken, we're... Ken, are you there, Ken? Okay, we've got nothing on this, We've got to get some information on what is clearly happening. Christ, this is five kilometers Not more than here. three, uh, five kilometers from the station itself. A series of terrifying phone calls lead to a feeling of dread and eventually begin unraveling a mystery that isn't what you thought it would be. The fact that Pontypool only ever takes you outside the radio station on two occurrences, once in the beginning and for a few seconds in the middle of the film, makes this horror movie almost exclusively built on dialogue. That is what makes this movie my number three choice. It knows when to build tension and it knows when to be funny whenever things get a little bit too weird. Number two, Hush. Hush follows the story of a deaf writer living alone with only a handful of neighbors within walking distance. The tension quickly escalates as you see a masked man right outside of her door murdering someone. The problem being, since she's deaf, she can't hear it and only you, the viewer, are privy to this information. This is only the beginning of an intelligent and realistic cat and mouse game that is one for the ages. You won't find any horror movie victim cliches here. I think he's gone. I need to make a break for it. Looks like there's weapons over there. Let's go. Which one shall I choose? The fact that what's happening to the victim in this movie could easily happen to you or me is what makes this movie so horrific. There are no aliens, no zombies, no ghosts. It's just a masked man coming to kill you. Number one, The Babadook. The Babadook may be the most well known out of all the movies that I've chosen, but it deserves this spot on the list. It is simply one of the best movies of the genre in recent years. This Australian horror movie tells the story of a single mother and her extremely 
disobedient child named Samuel. And you can tell through great camera angles and acting the disdain that the mother has for her son, even though she's doing everything she can to love him. One night, as they're both going to bed, her son Samuel finds a book that neither one of them know the origin of. They don't know where it came from. As she begins reading it to him, they quickly realize it's not meant for kids, as it tells a terrifying story. This is what he wears on top. He's funny, don't you think? See him in your room at night. Mom, does it hurt the boy? Mom, does it live under the bed? Mom? Mommy! And this is just the beginning of where strange things start happening. Through great storytelling and almost exclusively practical effects, The Babadook achieves what no other horror movie has in recent years. And that is why it's my number one choice. Be sure to let me know what you thought of my choices for the top five. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more, make sure you subscribe. And as always, have a good day.